In this video, we're going to be reviewing one of the most OG electric bikes ever on the market, the Explore by Be Cool Bikes. Let's check it out. Hey, it's Nelson. Welcome back to the E-Riders channel. Well, we finally got our hands on a Be Cool bike. Uh, long time coming. We've been wanting to review a Be Cool bike for at least the last three or four years. Finally got ourselves at Explorer. So shout out to Be Cool for sending us out to Explorer for testing and review. Opening up the box, you can see there's a lot of things going on. Oh, but first, we're going to look at the accessories because we're going to need some of the stuff out of there, especially the tools. First, we have the pedals and we got a reflector. And a really nice all black manual, multi tool, and the charger. All right, I'm gonna take the tire out first. This makes it easier to lift the bike out. Look at that thing. Every inch of the frame is covered with styrofoam, so every inch of it. So that's gonna protect it in shipping. Uh, bike is already pretty much. 95% pre-assembled, so it's pretty easy, but uh, it's going to take all the, the wrapping off. Alright, so before we put the front tire on everything else, we're going to put the handlebars on first that way. They're not dangling in the way. Let's take the front bracket off. And put the handlebar on top, line it up, put the bracket back on, screw it in. Now you don't have to tighten it all the way because you can adjust it later on. And you put the quick release skewer through the front axle. Now you don't have to put the, uh, the springs or, the, or the, uh, the little screw nut on right away. We just did it just to get it, you know, just to have it done. Take off the bottom protective piece. And line up your tire. Make sure the brake rotor's on the side where the brake caliper is. Line up your forks and along with the brakes around the, the rotor. And it should drop right on in. There you go, just like that. And uh, just tighten up till you get the right tension. And then clamp the quick release in place. All right, now put the fender on. Just that one screw on top of the fork there, take it out, get your headlight, grab the fender, so all goes through the same screw. And tighten it up. And then line it up and then finish tightening it. All right, don't forget those fender stays on both sides. You'll have these little fender stays that keep the other end of the fender in place. Now for the rear rack, you got four screws, two on each side. Take those two screws out off the frame. And grab the, the rear rack, line it up, put the screws back in. 
I love the fact that the rear rack is color matching. Don't forget to use the cable ties they gave you to feed the wires around the frame for the light. Plug in the rear light. Now for the pedals. We have to tighten them up. Don't forget to put air in your tire. It's about 30 PSI, both tires. Definitely want to do that before taking it out for a ride. All right, let's look at the components. All right, so that is the Be Cool Explorer all put together, sitting on some really beefy 26 by four tires, uh, moving in close. You can see the battery in the down tube right there. That is a 48 volt, 20 amp battery. So that's a long range battery. And in the middle you have your rear suspension. Moving on down you have a dual chain guard to keep that chain on track. Moving to the back, you got a Shimano turning derailleur system and a derailleur guard to keep it from getting out of whack. And a Shimano cassette. And up to the top you got that color matching rear rack, which I really like because it matches the frame. And you got yourself a rear tail light, brake light, and turning signal all in one, along with some plastic fenders. And then moving on down, you got your hydraulic caliper, and you also have a 750 watt, 1000 watt peak motor, which puts out about 88 newton meters of torque. You got your 22 amp controller right there. Really nice soft saddle, by the way. A little extra wide, too, so that's good. And again, you got, you got that battery. It also has its own independent on and off switch. Moving up to the top, you got some really, really nice, comfortable leather grips. Uh, you got your hydraulic brake caliper, I mean, uh, your levers, and you have your left and right turning signal switches. You have your electronic horn. You have your up and down to shift through the five modes of pedal assist. Nice, large backlit display. And you got your thumb shifter, which is a seven speed Shimano. And you have your half twist throttle. And you have your lockout and preload suspension with 120 millimeters of travel and an integrated headlight. Overall, this uh, bike comes in about 78 pounds. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so here we are starting off with the speed test. Uh, we're in pedal assist one right now. I'll let you know that uh, for range, the uh, Be Cool website has it down for about 75 miles in range. And that might be possible, especially with the 21 amp battery. On a pedal assist one, we got it up to 10 miles per hour. Now on pedal assist two. You got it as high as 14 miles per hour. Going into pedal assist three. All right, 21 miles per hour. Pedal assist three. Going to pedal assist four. And we have to slow it down to get around the corner here. All right, let's finish pedal assist four. Now this is a class three bike, so it's going to do well over 25 miles per hour. Uh, and right here is, you know, pedal assist four, 29 miles per hour. Most average e-bikes uh, usually cap out at that. But here we are on pedal assist five now. Well exceeding 30 miles an hour. Uh, looks like it's gonna cap at about 34 miles per hour on pedal assist five. That is insane, guys. That is really, really fast. Be Cool Explorer putting in the numbers. Holy cow. 
Now we're gonna do a throttle test from from zero from the stop. Now I remember when the Be Cool Explorer had come out uh, some years ago. Um, top of the line, top of the line, uh, as far as components and, and speed and everything. And you know what? It's still holding. It's it's still holding up today. Even today, it still outdoes a lot of the e-bikes now, years later. Which is why I had to review this. Uh, I've always wanted to get a Be Cool in on the channel. Um, and we finally got one, so this is it. I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So again, here we are on pedal assist five, and it looks like we're about to run out of runway here. Uh, and we got it up to uh, 30 miles per hour actually on throttle only. Uh, also, it doesn't link. Throttle doesn't link with the, uh, the pedal assist at all. So here we are doing a hill climb test. Now we kind of started the, the bottom of the hill at about 20 something miles per hour so it looks like it's about to cap out at about 14, 15 miles per hour. Uh, not bad. I've seen uh, most e-bikes do about 9 or 10 miles per hour up this hill. It's really good hill climbing. Uh, here we are doing a full suspension test since it has front and rear suspension. We hit gravel, we hit the dirt, we hit the grass, the potholes, you name it. Front and rear suspension holding up very very well the be cool explorer checking all the boxes 1000 watt peak motor 21 amp long range battery full suspension hydraulic brakes turning signals and speeds of over 30 miles per hour i don't know what else to say about it um if you're interested in the beat one of the be cool bikes check the link down below in the description i'm gonna put uh any promo codes and sales that's going on down below and if you like e-bikes like we do please like and subscribe to also be updated on any future uploads and again, my name is Nelson with the E-Riders channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in a future video.